Hello there, people of the internet. I am Curse Blake, and this is Real Mist Masterpiece Edition. If you guys want to see more Mist content, like and subscribe, and drop a comment below. Today, we're going to play one of my favorite games ever. I, I just, I don't even know how to describe it. So we're just going to just jump in. All right. So basically, my plan is just to run around and figure out what to do. Because I have played this game maybe once or twice. I've never finished it without a walkthrough, so... Um, and I honestly can't remember how to do it. So, I'm just gonna go explore things that I like. Oh, what's this do? And press tons of buttons. Okay, that didn't do anything. Alright, so there's a little note here on the wall. That's what we should go look at. So, settings, dimensional imager, topographical extrusion test, marker switch diagram, and the water turbulent pool. Alright. Oh, I, I can't resist doing this, right? But 69 didn't do anything, surprisingly. Alright, let's put in 40. See what 40 does. Man, the soundtrack in this game is amazing. Alright, so that should do something. Oh, I must have just not pressed it. Okay, so that just brings up a topographical map of something. Alright, let's do this one. Wait, what? Oh, I opened something. Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay, we gotta open this. That's gotta be something worthwhile. So I know what this looks like, so I kinda know where that is, but I honestly don't remember that piece, so. Okay, cool. All right. You know what, there are some other ones on here, but uh, I can kinda remember this bit of the game, so I don't really need to use those at the moment. All right, we'll go up this way. Man, that is dark. So originally this game did look a lot different. This is the Real Mist Masterpiece Edition, which means that it's been redeveloped. Um, the original game came out in 1993, I believe. Uh, this came out in like 2000 sometime. I'm gonna flick this on. Um, and yeah, this is, this is one of my favorite games. Just, I don't know, I played it like in the early 90s or you know, at a, you know, a relative's place, and it was just, just mind-blowing at the time. Uh, I was very young, and it kind of left an impression on me, as well as the sequel, which is Riven, uh, which I will play as well. Ooh, a note. Catherine, I have left for you a message of utmost importance in our four-chamber beside the dock. Enter the number of marker switches on the island into the imager to receive the message. Yours, Atris. Okay, cool. So that's probably what we should do first. So these are the marker switches. I remember that much. <laughs> All right, cool. So we're going to go turn on all the marker switches. So we've got two so far. Now, if you remember, that little thing that we turned on is over here. I have no idea what this is about, but I'm going to go check it out because I'm easily distracted. Oh, that makes no sense. To me. I'm just going to leave that. That's that's a little worrisome. But yeah, the original game was uh, a lot less nice looking. But still, at the time, in 1993, it looked kind of amazing. So I kind of lost count already. So that probably is... Oh, what was that? mushrooms or something oh cool so yeah basically in this game the whole point of it is that you have encountered it doesn't actually tell you but you've encountered a book somewhere in a library in the real world so you're meant to be your actual person in this game and that's what i always found really interesting about this it's not you're not a character you're not anything so it's it's really interesting all right so there's one two okay how many three Four, five, six, seven. I think there's seven. Um, enter the number. So seven, I think, is the number. Can we jump? Oh, we can just go down here. Oh my god, that's such an improvement over the old game. I think the first time I actually played this seriously, I played the old game. It might have even been in like an iOS one. Uh, so it, it was a bit janky. But yeah, this this masterpiece edition really is is something else. All right, so I think there's seven. All right. Okay, did I miscalculate? Is it eight? The number is eight. <laughs> so that's why I'm so bad at this game. But this is one of the main reasons why I think this game is magnificent. It has one of my favorite features in video games, which you don't see very much anymore. Live action video. I mean, it, 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 it is kind of terrifying. It's hard for me to believe. 
It's very pixely. This may not make a lot of sense to people, but I will explain further. Don't worry, Catherine. Everything will be fine. I'll see you shortly. Oh, and erase this message after you viewed it. Just to be so safe. basically, this is telling you how to do the puzzles. I mean, it's quite for a kid of like I don't know how old I was when I played this, like five maybe. It was just baffling. So today, I think we're going to do the stone ship age, which means raising this ship here. So basically, we need to go solve a quick little puzzle, which will raise this ship. So the puzzle starts over here, where we have this little like kind of fountain thing with the boat in here. We need to get this boat up. And to do that, we need to pick three... Ugh, God, the mouse is crazy in this game. We need to pick three of these. So I think first thing we do is go check out Atrus's library. So these are all the books that Atrus mentioned, uh, saying that his library was burnt. So what we're going to look at today is the Stone Ship Age book. And this has a lot of stuff in it, which I'm not going to read because blah, 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 boring. Um, but it has some very useful clues. This is the most important bit, the constellations bit. These constellations help us solve the puzzle. Um, and these books are something else too. So we'll, we'll go look at these books and uh, see how crazy they are. But basically the main reason for me wanting to do this uh, video series is because I really want to share my love of this game with everyone that I can. And I know that it's a very obscure game and well, at the time it was quite popular, but these days not many people know about it and I think it's, it's a gem. All right, so we put the blue pages in here. Here we go. More live action people, which is kind of terrifying. So basically, these books have these people in them, and we have to find pages for them uh, to get a more complete message. But yeah, the atmosphere in this game is amazing. I think that's one of the best things about the game, is the, the atmosphere, the soundtrack. At the time, it was just a marvel. There we go. He wants blue pages. I mean, he's kind of terrifying. Let's go do the red page, dude. All right, here we go. Oh, he looks a little bit more sophisticated. Still slightly terrifying. I've always found the acting in this game to be slightly terrifying, but also amazing. I don't know what it is. So he wants red pages. Okay, we're not going to listen to him anymore. All right, so that's kind of the other side quest that you have to do is get the blue and red pages for these guys. As Atrus said, if we forget the access keys, there's hints using the tower rotation. So that's what this is. This is the tower rotation. Spin this around and we point it at the place where we want to go, which is here. That's the uh, Stone Ship Age ship. And then we press the coolest thing in this game. Oh, look at this. My favorite bit. Hell yes, they become cool stairs. All right, let's go this way. Go this way. And then there's like a creepy ass elevator. And so we'll go up this elevator. And this will give us the hints to the, the, the puzzle. You don't really need hints for this one. I know the solve to this, but we're just going to do it real quick because just in case anybody's watching this to try and get the, uh, the solve. And so what we've got here is we've got three dates. These three dates are very important to this puzzle. So we just got to remember these and uh, I will remember those dates. All right, here we go. So now that we've got those dates memorized, <laughs> eh, why am I stuck? Why am I always stuck? Okay. Now that we have those three dates memorized, we go back and we go to the observatory. The observatory is like a, it's actually more of a planetarium, but I always call it the observatory, but it's a planetarium. All right, come on. Oh, I always forget to open the damn door. It's the thing with these old games, they don't really like give you heaps of like, there's no quality of life stuff in these games. All right, we press this, does the swirly swirl, and then we can leave. All right, so now we go to the observatory or planetarium or whatever, dentist, crazy dentist chair thing. So we go in here and we use all the clues that we found from before and we plug in the dates. All right, there we go. So we put the first date in here and now we press this button. And what we do is we match up that with one of the constellations that we saw in the book. And this one is the leaf constellation. And then we put the second date in and we hit the button. And this one responds to the snake constellation, which we saw in the book. All right, now we're gonna go for the third one. And then we press the button. 
And this one corresponds to the bug constellation. And then basically, we just come out here and we plug in those three that we figured out were the right ones. So it's maple leaf, bug, and snake. And then the little ship rises, yay! And then the big ship rises as well. And that means that we can go into the stone ship age now. So we'll go do that. Into the stone ship age we go. Alright, so this is a linking book. This is the first linking book we kind of actually see in the game. So we're going to jump in and do that now. Ah yes, it's raining. Now a lot of the puzzles in this level do require pumping and like moving water around. So that's the pumping station there. And that's, yeah. So you basically have to move water around and figure out where stuff goes. So basically the first thing we're going to do is we're going to do the little puzzle over here. Which I think, yeah, okay. So what we need to do is move all the water basically. All right, middle one. And there's the pump. I don't know where the where it's getting electricity from, but it's from somewhere. All right, and here we. Go. No, that's not the right one. I thought. Okay, far out. I'm so bad at this. I did warn you guys that I am really bad at this game, but I do love it. Okay. This is the correct button for this little puzzle here. So basically, what we need to do is get the water out of here, and walk down here. And there's a chest at the bottom. And the chest eh, is full of water. So we need to open this tap on it, which lets all the water out. Now all the water's out, we put the tap back on, I think. There we go. So now the chest is not full of water, it should float. Because it has a lock on it, we need to get the key. And the key is here. Alright. Come on, let's go. So any of those buttons will be fine. I think the uh, middle one is the one that we want. There we go. So that'll open up the top, which opens a different space. Which opens a generator room, which is what we want. Okay. There we go. We open the chest. Easies. Then we get the key. Got a nice little key hand, which is kind of cute. There we go. Now we have access. Oh, well, that fell to the bottom. Now we have access to this room. Which means... We now have the ability to get power. Which we just need to charge these batteries. Now everything's lit, we can go down here. Now if memory serves, there are some like little secret like doorways or something. From what I- yeah, there it is. We open that boy up. And we're gonna go search around here. Now this is the bedroom of one of the sons from what I remember. And it kind of explains their characters if you look at everything that are in their drawers. So he has like lots of fine clothes and nothing. And a red page. So this is Cirrus's room? From what I understand. And yeah, there we go. Now you can kind of see the characters that these guys are. He's obsessed with narcotics and like there's a knife and yeah, drugs, syringes, all sorts of stuff. They have kind of dark characters. We're going to go visit the other bedroom, which is, I can never remember which one's which, but Cirrus and Akana are the two sons, and you kind of find their, like, rooms around here. And I'm not sure if you can get both pages at once. <laughs> I think that's one of the weird designs of this game, is that there is no, you can't carry two pages at once. Alright, I think that goes the same way. Alright, I'm just going to open those anyway. But you need to make sure you keep the batteries powered up. See, this guy's room is also cursed. Like, look at all the poisons and whatnot. And lights. It's just very creepy, this one. Now, this has some... This is weird. So, a flower that slowly morphs into a skull. Which is a little odd, I must say. And he has maps. Maps, maps. Lots of maps. I think that Akana, from what I remember, is obsessed with conquest. But yeah, Atrus's children are kind of... Hey, here we go. Uh, the vault is located... The island of the achieved. Okay. Turn everyone to the on position. They are the final step. That piece of paper is important. 
I need to find the rest of that piece of paper. Because that's kind of... That's, that's the key thing there. Key to the entire puzzle, I think. There's a blue page here, but we're going to leave that. So what we're meant to do is we're meant to go up and look at this telescope. And we look at where the lighthouse is. And we use the, uh, the angle that's here as the correct angle to put on that little thing. So what it says here is 135, which responds to southeast, I think. I think that's what it is, southeast on that little, uh, the little thing that we're about to see. All right, so we'll jump in there as long as there's still power. Yeah, there's still power. And we'll hit the uh, southeast. So this is exactly southeast. So I'm guessing it's this one here. Hey, there we go. We got the right one. There you go. See? I know what I'm doing. Too easy. Who said I wasn't good at puzzle games, right? Alright, so now we should have lit the other part of the ship, which is the one underwater here. So that's all lit now. So, we go to this one. That should get all the water out of here. Then we go down here. And this should now be solved. And there is the mist book. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the Stone Ship Age. And we'll leave it here for now. And uh, yeah, drop me a comment if, if, you've, uh, if you saw anything that I missed. And I'm actually planning on keeping on playing some more of these style of games. I'm definitely going to go through and play full, through the whole of Riven as well. I don't know if I'm going to go any further into Mist 3 or anything like that. I've also like picked up myself a copy of Abduction, I think it's called. And uh, yeah, I'm going to play through that. Maybe on video, maybe on stream, I'm not sure. And if you uh, haven't caught me before, I'm, I stream over on Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash CursedBlake. That's where you can find me. I occasionally stream here on YouTube as well, so... If you want to see more of me, just subscribe. I have all the socials. I'll put all of my socials in the link. And uh, yeah, I hope I catch you guys next time. I'm going to kind of leave this video with the intro, which is kind of a weird way of ending a video. But I really love the intro of this game. And I didn't include it in the start of the game just because. But I think it is the best intro to a game ever. Just, I, I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's just atmospheric. It's awesome. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. So I'm going to let it play out the whole way. And I'll catch you guys next time. I realized the moment I fell into the fissure. Destroyed as I had planned. I continued falling into that starry expanse of which I had only a fleeting glimpse. I've tried to speculate where it might have landed, but I must admit that such conjecture is futile. Still, the questions about whose hands might one day hold my misbook are unsettling to me. I know my apprehensions might never be allayed, and so I close realizing that perhaps the ending has not yet been written.